And uh, Christensen tells us that here's another irony, right? When we take our eyes off our pain and focus them on God's enormous and splendid being, the multitude of our pain, he tells us, shrinks exponentially, right? Exponentially. God is uh, astronomically greater than the event of the most horrific evils that can inflict seemingly intractable injury on our soul. God is greater than that, right? And so to take refuge in him precisely when evil has appeared to take over uh, is to place uh, where hope is most amplified, right? Hope is made, uh, he, he tells us, uh, meaningless without some seemingly futile uh, adversary desperate to be overthrown. Hope is not to uh, spurn the stubborn persistence of evil that threatens to overtake our lives, but to covet a redeemer who promises to overtake evil. Right? right. So that's the purpose of it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, how, how many people went to their death for this idea of who God is? Uh, you know, why, why was that a joy to some? Why, why was that uh, uh, counted not as loss? It, it, it seems like, okay, you can attribute it to religious fervor to the, to the highest degree, but it seems to be for, for all types of men, all types of women, uh, uh, rich, poor, uh, those in power or who had power. And then those who, uh, you know, were slaves, uh, th- those who had much learning than those who didn't, uh, there were, uh, many people that, that said, this is who God is. And I will die not to, uh, go against that creator. And so what, what spurns that on? It's, it's this high, it's, it's a proper view of who God is, what he commands and what he commands is greater than what man can punish you for uh, disobeying, like uh, sprinkling uh, uh, incense on an altar for Caesar and uh, claiming him to be God. That doesn't seem if, if you're kind of this atheist uh, uh, viewpoint, well, that doing that or not doing that is the same thing. So there's no point, but what, why is someone like Polycarp, unable to, he says, I, I, I cannot do that. Just mm-hmm. taking a pinch of, of incense and putting it on the altar is defaming who God is. And so he <laughs> has this uh, correct idea of the structure of the universe of God being greater and one where the creature, the creator creature uh, relationship. And so, um, that's, uh, that's, um, spurned the, the entirety of church history. And, uh, e- even when, uh, the church has has gone into the persecution game. It's it's always been an attempt to say this is who God is, and we should be following it. So. Yeah, yeah. While the, at the time that we're videoing this, we're in the midst of this uh, rumbling between Russia and uh, Ukraine yeah. and United States and all that kind Hopefully of stuff. Hopefully, it's rumbling still and not yeah. in a bigger way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. And I guess we'll. Yeah. By the time some people watch this, it, they may know Although, that. Maybe I don't have to edit this video. Story. So, so win win either but, way. Yeah. <laughs> but I was reading the other day a, uh, a missionary uh, <laughs> newsletter, and uh, there were this uh, agency had sponsored several missionaries into Ukraine. And they were, and wrote back to the agency and said, We're not leaving. God has called us here. Some of them had planted churches there in Ukraine. And, uh, you know, our mission, our purpose is to serve the folks that God has called us to serve. So uh, we're not we're not leaving. This is what God wants us to do. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Great. That's exactly uh, the the God that we want not not only serve, but we would want to serve that we, we want a God. That isn't us. Yeah. <laughs> and isn't all about us right. and yeah. what, yeah, our happiness yeah. and that sort of right. thing. Yeah. 